In this video, I'll talk about the torque due to the multiple forces. So here, this is on an XY plane, and we have the different forces acting onto it. The force F1, force F2, F3, and F4. And all the forces are acting in the different directions. What we need to find out, what is the torque due to all these forces about the origin. And remember, torque is a vector quantity. Okay, so how do we calculate forces? Let's start with this one. So here are all the information given, the force, the radius, R1. So how do we know that R1 is 4 meter? You can see from this graph, R1, the distance, the R1 is the distance from the force where we apply to the to the origin or about the axis of rotation and in this case like for R2 is again 4 and R3 is again 5 so we have all the values here and R4 is 3 so all the values are given the torque is defined as a cross product of the position vector or R vector and the, the force vector. And as these two are the cross product, that means the torque is perpendicular to the plane of R vector and the F vector. That means the torque would be perpendicular to both R and it should be also perpendicular to the force. And I'll talk about it again. The magnitude of the torque is given by RF sine theta, where theta is the angle between R vector and the F vector. And the direction, as I mentioned, the torque is a vector quantity. So the direction is given by the right hand curl rule. And I'll explain the right hand curl rule. So now let's come back here. Let's start with the F1, the force, this is the force and this is the position vector. The angle between them is 90 degree. So the magnitude, the magnitude of the torque is given by R1, F1 and sine theta 1. The R1, as we already discussed, is 4, force is 20 Newton, sine 90 degree is 1. So if we multiply it together, it will be 80 Newton meter. That's the magnitude. How do we find out the direction? So in order to find out the direction, we can use the right hand rule. So in this case, the right hand rule is shown here. So use your right hand and initially your palm, this palm, you should align your palm in the direction of the position vector and curl them in such a way that it is going from R vector to F vector. Your curl, you see the fingers should curl from R vector to F vector in the direction it should curl. So if you do this way, then you will see that your thumb points in the downward direction. That is, that is, it, it's, it is in the downward direction. Like if I, if, like in the, into the paper or into the iPad. Okay, or in order to also understand uh, the other way of calculating this one is, let's say you have a, um, this boat, the bottle cap here. Now, if I apply a force, this force here, right here, in which direction it will move? It will move downward because when you try to turn in, at this point, it will move along this direction, which will push him into the paper or in the downward direction or or it will close the 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 water bottle or the or the coca-cola bottle okay so this is the another way of finding the the direction of the torque again if you apply the force here it will move into this direction that will push him into the downward direction or other words the way of calculating this one is the best way of calculating this one is your 
palm should point in the direction of the position vector and then you should curl in the direction of the force okay then you will immediately see that your thumb points in the direction of the, the torque and in this case the torque is in the, the downward direction when I say downward that means you have to make a hole here and into the, the paper okay so here I mentioned the the, the the curl is in the downward direction and into the paper and into the paper the torque due to F2 now let's calculate this F2 so the angle between the position vector and the force is 45 degree so the torque due to F2 will be R2 F2 sine theta 2 R2 is again for force is given 30 and you see the angle is 45 degree so sine 45 degree which will be 84.9 so calculating magnitude is pretty straightforward now let's again talk about the direction so this force now so if I apply a force F2 force at this point F2 what will this force do now this force will make this uh, will open this one it will open or it will move upward so that means the it will be coming out of the paper the force will be out of the paper direction is out of the paper or upward okay or if you align again the position vector your palm in the direction of the position vector and curl it you can clearly see your thumb points in the direction of the uh, in the upward direction so that's how you calculate the torque and the in the magnitude of the torque and the direction similarly f3 the f3 now is a uh, 50 newton and the angle between them is in fact 75 degree so here or 15 degree this is 15 degree so r3 f3 and sine theta 3 r3 is three, uh, 5 force is 15 newton 15 newton and sine angle is 15 degree so if you calculate this will give you the magnitude 19.4 now in this case let's talk about the direction so if i apply a force here so if, why I'm just choosing this direction or or this direction? So if we apply a force here, what it will do? It will do. It will make the cap move in the downward direction, or you can use the right hand rule to calculate the the direction of the torque. So it says the downward direction. Similarly, due to F4 here, F4, R4, F4 sine theta 4 the the position or the distance is 3 f4 is 20 sine theta 4 again is 90 degree this angle is 90 degree here so once you solve it you'll get the 60 newton meter the, the torque the unit is newton meter the total torque now the net torque is given by we have to add all the the upward torque and the, the downward torque so this is the the downward we take as a negative and the upward is positive this is downward so it's negative and this is upward so it's positive so the total torque the total net torque is 45.5 and it is in the upward direction that means with all these forces if you have this cap here it will move in the upward direction so this is how you calculate the torque the due to the multiple forces again calculating magnitude is easy but when you calculate the the direction practice a little bit just a little bit practice if you just practice by yourself you will understand it so this is it from this uh, video again if you have any questions write down your questions in the comment section below and do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much